What's up, everybody? It's that time again. Construction video time. All right, so I'm just going to kind of move around the different parts of the layout today and just kind of give you an idea of what the different things that I work on. I don't really work on one project at a time. I kind of jump around to keep it interesting and fun. So uh, we'll start here. What we're doing is we're putting in, uh, I put in the switch already for the drill track to gain access to that from the main line. So we'll finish connecting that. And the reason I didn't connect it, because uh, I was running out of time, and this is the only exit, and, well, entry and exit point to the uh, train room. So I put the main line in. One of, that was the main concern at that time. I let that dry. So I'll come back. I'll put some glue down, um, probably about three inches on both sides of the track where the uh, cut's going to be made. And then the rest of it is going to be the tape that I use. So, and the only reason the only reason I'm using the glue here is so I have more of a bond um, with the tape. It allows a little bit of flexibility, and I want to make sure that I don't have any derailments between the cuts here. So, that's why I'm doing that. All right. Well, let's get with it. <laughs> the hillside that goes back here and basically all I'm doing is using foam and the reason I'm using the foam is because I have literally probably a good four sheets down in the shed that I'm not going to be using for anything so it's going to take roughly four inches to get me up to the sub road bed and uh, I'm probably going to experiment with uh, the expanding foam as well and see how that does and then just kind of set that in there in different places to get kind of give me my hillside but to start with my base basically all i'm doing is just taking the scrap sections since this is just going to house trees it doesn't really need to be that uh structural sound structurally sound i should say but it's going to be resting basically on the um the one by fours and i will glue the glue them down so I've already started. I've got it filled in all the way back here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up. I'm just going to go all the way down to that wall. And basically, from previous layouts that I've had, this is basically what I've come up with. So, or scraps, I should say, that I have. So I'll just kind of hold it like that. Come in here. Give me a, uh, come under with a Sharpie. Trace it out. And where it kind of rounds off, I'll just come out here and make a square square line. And that way, when I set it all into place, everything should fit close. And then any scraps that I have left over, have a bunch of these little pieces that I've cut out of pieces like this, I will save and then um, I'll use in other areas for uh, the layout. So that's pretty much how I'm going to do that. So let's uh, let's get that started. So, just to kind of give you guys an idea of how it looks so far, this is what we're doing. And I cut this a little short, but that's okay, because like I say, it will get a second layer, third, and probably even a fourth, unless I decide to go the route of um, spray foam, the expanding foam, which I may in places. So that's pretty much how it looks, and we're going to continue building that up. 
I'll start back there. And each section, if I continue to use this, which more than likely I will because it's not costing me any money. I have all the foam. So plus it's going to be easier to work with. So what I'll do is I'll glue this section down, come back, and then I will overlay each section on the second one just to help build its strength. So like there's a joint here, so there'll be a piece that would lay over this one and this one and then so on like that. So let's get this glued down and then we'll move on to the second layer. finally to the fourth level and almost level with the sub road bed. We're actually level with the track. Now this here, this lip here will actually be sanded down, probably cut with a hot foam, foam knife, but you kind of get the idea. Now granted there was tons of different ways I could have done this all back here and of course as you can see I still have to weight it down. I started weighting weighting it down over there but i'm gonna do this entire section so what will happen now is once this dries i'll take another strip probably about as wide as what this is but straight and then i'll put another strip on top of that and then i'll come back with my foam knife and i'll shape it the way i want and then that'll give me my hill and then once i get this uh the dirt and this trees and all on it it'll all blend in well but like i was saying there's hundreds of ways i could have done this the reason i chose to stack foam like this was because i have so much of it and i needed to use it up because i have it in the lower shed and i need to make room for some seasonal tools and whatnot so this is why i decided to go this route this isn't probably the route most of you would have taken but since i have so much of the foam I decided, hey, I need to use it. I don't want to throw it away, so this is what I'm using it for. So it worked out nice. It's made a great base. I'm happy with it, and uh, I'm actually looking forward to getting uh, the hillside carved out and scenery done to it. So probably I'll hold off on the actual scenery until I get the upper bench work completely done. That way, no sawdust or anything like that's dropping down on that stuff. So what I'll do is I'll get the upper bench 100% and what I mean by that is this has got to come back down because this is all just a mock-up but this will come back down this will get painted and then I will put my um, base cover on top and then I'll be ready to do or finish the bottom I should say so 
And I think what I'm going to do as well for the riverbed here, I think I'm going to do a one inch foam board that'll be flush with this outside edge and that will just hold here and that'll give me my base. And then I'll blend everything else in probably with strips of cardboard from this side going down because the, the river is going to be on this side here closer to the edge. So, all right, I'll catch you up here in a little bit. see I'm just uh, reattaching the second level framing I've got my little helper out here and believe it or not he's actually being a big help he's uh, helping hold everything playing with the drill learning the ins and outs and it's a joy to have him out here I wanted to wait till I got everything painted to bring him out just because it's a little safer for him but uh, as you can see all right well that does it for the that construction video uh, hope everybody enjoyed this and uh look for a uh layout update and a layout tour video coming soon the update will definitely be before the tour so uh the last thing i was working on and i really didn't capture on camera was this cut out here this was originally where the cement plant was going to go however because of the difference in the levels here what I've decided to do is put my um, oil tanks and all here. So my oil industry will be here. And then, of course, over in that corner there will be the um, actual uh, cement plant. And I did that just because there's a huge difference in elevation. And you'll be able to see that a little bit more in that corner. And I really want to be able to get the, um, the silos and everything of the cement plant. So that's why I decided to change it up. So it was a little bit of a process sanding this down to make this level with this uh, sub road bed here so I could do the road bed. I'm going to do two tracks in here and then I'll have the tanks up against the wall. Um, I may end up having to carve out a little bit more here and the same thing over here. But I'm going to wait and get my tracks in and then see exactly how I want to do it. And then I'll eventually come back and I will slope all of this to represent a hill side and uh, go from there. But as of right now, I'm not too worried about any of that. And even if I needed to extend this out a little further, then, you know, that's great. I can do that at a later time as well. But the big thing is my switch is going to be going right here. So uh, I'll just remove this little bit of a section of track here and then I'll add to it later on. But uh, I'm going to probably go ahead and put the switch in today. And getting ready for my update video, as you can see, I'm getting ready to solder some track. And we're going to be working on that main line, the outer main line that goes all the way around into the yard. So that will be on the next uh, update video, hopefully here within the next week. Still really limited on time. Um, hours are getting ready to get uh, cut back to 40 hours a week here in a week. So... I'll have, hopefully I'll have a little bit more time, so we'll see. But anyway, hope you guys and gals are doing well, and we'll chat soon. Thanks for watching.